Hello, I'm John Emanuel from John Emanuel Floral Events and uh, today I'm with Kosh & Co designing some beautiful artificial flowers um, out of their amazing range and uh, we've created this beautiful corporate piece um, and we, we've created it in a beautiful white, let me show it to you, uh, stone look pot made out of fiberglass. We're going to start with a beautiful corporate piece here and we're using this beautiful white fiber clay pot um, and we've just prepped it up using the dry floral foam um, just prepped up as you would normally and uh, we've, got, we've got some beautiful flowers here so we're using some ranuncular we're using king proteas we've got some beautiful green carna leaves um, some philodendron, I think these are called the philodendron fing fing uh, fingers um, as well as the aspidistra leaves we have these gorgeous green dendrobium orchids as well as the hydrangea. So what we're gonna start with is uh, getting our height. Now this is going to be a front facing design so it won't be seen from the back. So, um, and what I'm wanting to do as well is do some strong grouping with the aspidistra leaves as well as the uh, dendrobium orchids. So we're just gonna start by putting the aspidistra leaves in. And the beauty of working with synthetics is that because of the wire in it, we can actually manipulate the, the stem exactly how we want to. Okay, so then I'm going to create the, some more height on the opposite side using these gorgeous green dendrobium orchids. And we're just going to use them in a vertical manner. Just like so, and we'll come back and then improve on the groupings as well. For the moment, I just want to get my line and my height. I'm now going to go in with these gorgeous Ghana leaves. And you know, and, and when creating a design, if you feel the need to later on while designing to remove a leaf or something like that um, to enhance the look of it. it it's, it's better that you move it and be happy with it than not move it and uh, not being happy with the end result. So, and again, with uh, the artificial flowers and foliages, it's just so easy because you can go in time and time again to create um, the desired look um, without having much effect on the flowers at all. So now I'm just gonna go in with some hydrangea and basically what I'm doing with the green hydrangea is covering the floral foam. So this has formed our basis for this design. And again, so what I've done is use the beautiful carna leaves um, and create a beautiful line and like a platform almost. Um, I've then done two strong vertical groupings of the aspidistra leaves and the uh, dendrobium orchids. And then just a beautiful group of hydrangea which we will build on um, just to cover mechanics. I find it much easier to, if we cover mechanics at the beginning, it's a lot easier than trying to fill in the gaps at the end. So we're just going to go with some more hydrangea. And then start grouping some of our king proteas. So I'm going to continue with the hydrangea. And hydrangea is so beautiful because it's just got that beautiful soft fluffy texture. And it's also a great coverage. And 
from a design perspective, because I want to get rhythm through the design, <clears throat> I'm going to bring the hydrangea over to the opposite corner. Now what I'm going to do is take these gorgeous King Proteus and put a quite a big grouping of them in the centre and these are our focals. And even these stems, they're just so real-like. Real um, it's just that they're absolutely amazing quality. So I'm going to continue to build a little bit more bulk on this side with some more Aspidistra leaves. And again, now I just want to create a little bit of interest with deck in this. So I'm going to clear all the foliage um, off the stems and just bring it out because I don't want it to look like a traditional A-line design. Um, and I think it's important when you're protruding blooms out in this manner is that um, all your stems are really beautiful and clean. And they're such great quality stems, it's actually a shame to hide them. Just give me a little bit more depth, just to make it that much more interesting, so it doesn't look too flat. I'm just going to grab another one, two, or three. And again, just clearing off all the foliage and then going in again and cleaning all the little stem. And I think by um, designing them in this manner is that it does make them look more realistic because this, is, this look is really on trend at the moment where there's a lot of depth um, to arrangements and, and stems of flowers protruding out. So that's how we're looking at the moment. Again, I'm just going to clean up these King Proteas a little bit. back into the design and just clean up, clean them up a little bit um, look into the design as well. From a design perspective, I really want to show off the flower and not cover it in too much foliage. It's always important as well, as you're working through a design, to go through and reevaluate and how you're going and if you need to make some change, uh, changes, you know, feel free to make them. We do it all the time, um, even in fresh. Um, but obviously with synthetics, you have the upper hand because we don't have to worry about bruising. Having a look at the platform, the base that I've pulled, that I've created with this foliage, and I do want to exaggerate it a little bit on this side.
and we're using this fingered philodendron leaf. I just want to get a little bit um, of an interesting texture. I just think the, interesting, the shape um, is really interesting against um, the solid leaf down the base. And I'm going to repeat that at the back as well. Just want to intensify this grouping on this side. Once again, I'm going to clean the stems of foliage. start protruding it out. And then I'm going to grab some more and go back down to create the layers and the depth. And just for a little bit of interest, I want to use this beautiful ranunculus. They're so beautiful. Them. And I think the, what I love, really love about these is that um, they have the green to match everything, but it's also got the white in the centre that ties it all in. So I'm, I'm just going to continue with the ranunculi, creating that beautiful big group here at the front and by grouping it it just gives it a little bit more intensity and then for a little bit of interest as well just for a little bit of contrast in form in this section here I'm going to take a few 18 gauge wires So I'm just going to extend these ranunculi because I want to place them in this section here. So I've just grabbed some 18 gauge wires and done a simple uh, bobby pin wiring technique on that. And now I'm going to take uh, a parafilm and just conceal the mechanics here, the wire. So here we have the uh, parafilms wire and stem here, and um, as you can see, it actually holds it up together, um, or all together rather, um, as well as it just, it's a much, much neater finish as opposed to leaving it like this one here. So um, a little bit of a wiring technique for you. I'm just gonna put a few of these through this section here, just to give a little bit of interest bringing them through as well. Just gonna recess this one down low to cover in a hole. And then just finishing off the back, because we don't want to see the mechanics of the back, just grabbing a few of these beautiful green leaves and covering all of our mechanics. So 
So now I'm just going to spin it around to myself. Have a quick look. Just perfect my placements. And the beauty with the, with the artificial range is that you can manipulate the leaves with the wires and so on. Okay, so to give it a little bit more 3D-ness, I'm just going to take a few more of these dendrobium orchids. And beautiful, our design is complete. So we've just finished this gorgeous design and I just want to recap what we've used in it. So we started off, let me turn it around, you can probably see it a little bit better, of this beautiful uh, stone look uh, pot that we've used. And that's in a fiberglass, made out of fiberglass. Um, we've used green hydrangea, white king proteas, green dendrobium orchids. Um, we've used these beautiful carna leaves. Um, Aspidistra leaves, um, our ranuncular. So there's a lot of products here, guys, so bear with me. Uh, as well as these beautiful philodendron, these spider philodendron leaves. Um, and I've really played on texture here, um, as well as the contrast in, in form. So the size of blooms. Um, I've been really um, strategic in, in what I've used, just to make it really, really interesting. We've used a very simple color palette, so green with a little bit of white. Um, and yeah, and that's our final product. Thank you.